Number 11. <clears throat> the six-sided dice rolled. We want to find the probability of rolling an odd number. And it says a set of equal likely, equally likely outcomes is shown below. So we have a six-sided die, so we standard die. Um, if it's a pair, we call it dice. If it's one, we call it a die. So just one die. And um, we want to know the probability of rolling an odd number. All right. So out of six numbers, one, two, three, four, five, and six, there are three odd, one, three, and five. So there's three numbers that are odd, one, three, and five. And three out of six will reduce to one half. So half the time, we were expected to roll an odd number. A 12-sided die, equally likely outcomes, 1 through 12, we want to find the probability of rolling a number less than 10. Probability, I'm going to say X is going to be a random variable less than 10. So we want a number that is less than 10. All right, so out of 12 numbers, Numbers are less than 10 are going to be 1 through 9. So there's 1, 2, 3. There's 9 of them. 10 is not included. It says less than, strictly less than. So there's 9 numbers that are less than 10. That's 1 through 9. And if we reduce this, divide both of them by 3, we get 3 over 4. So there's a 3 out of 4 chance we get something that is less than 10. And 13, we'll do that one here as well. Uh, we got a 12-sided die, equally likely outcomes. We want to find the probability of rolling greater than 4. Greater than 4. So probability, I'm going to say this random variable, some number greater than 4. So greater than 4, how many numbers are greater than 4? So out of 12 numbers, start with 5. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight numbers that are greater than four. So starting with five, you count up to 12. And you can divide by four, and that will give you two out of three. So there's two-thirds chance of rolling uh, a 12-sided die and getting something greater than four. <clears throat> 